What can suck classic cars underground, swallow three-story buildings whole, and ruin your kitchen tile in a matter of seconds? The answer is a sinkhole. A sinkhole is a deep, rounded depression in the ground caused by water deteriorating Earth's surface layers and causing them to collapse. They can range from a few meters to hundreds of meters in both width and depth. They usually occur in areas where surface layers are composed of water-soluble rocks and minerals. These minerals include carbonate rock, limestone, and gypsum, to name a few. Florida, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, and Missouri are states where sinkholes are a common occurrence. There are three types of sinkholes. Solution sinkholes, cover subsidence sinkholes, and cover collapse sinkholes. A solution sinkhole is formed when groundwater becomes concentrated in an area with nowhere to flow. This oftentimes the result of heavy precipitation, as seen in the diagram on the right. It settles on the surface of the land, where it gradually dissolves the surface layers and a depression is formed. A cover subsidence sinkhole is formed when a layer of silt covers the bedrock. As shown in the diagram, silt sifts through the crevices eroded in the bedrock. As the silt moves, it erodes minerals along the way. The gradual depression of the ground where the sinkhole is forming can be observed. The third type of sinkhole is the cover collapse sinkhole. These are formed when underground reservoirs contain acidic water and deteriorate the bedrock from the inside out. A cavern is formed under the surface layer. This is not visible from the top. The land above eventually becomes too weak to support itself or surrounding structures and will collapse. This type of sinkhole has been known to cause tragedy and can be very dangerous. What can one do to avoid these scenarios? It is valuable for people to know the signs of sinkhole formation. These include standing groundwater concentrated in an area with no evident route for runoff, unnatural looking cracks in the ground, a weird rounded depression that starts to form, and bedrock with high concentrations of water-soluble water minerals such as carbonates, limestone, and rock with high salt concentrations. 